Evelyn, you get younger every time I see you. Oh, aren't you a dear? And thank you for the birthday card. Oh, did you get it on time? Yes, I did, and it was lovely. So sweet of you to remember me. How could anybody forget your birthday? <laughs> okay, maybe I forgot a birthday or two. Maybe I don't return every single call, but that doesn't mean I hate her. Was he breastfed? <laughs> of course he was. I mean, not by me personally. <laughs> That's interesting, because I see the broads that come through here, and he does tend to favor the big yams. I do not. Oh, really? Raquel Welch. <laughs> hey, hey, that's a damn fine film. Come to think of it, the one night we were together, he did spend a freakish amount of time on my boobies. <laughs> I mean, foreplay is one thing, but golly, it was like making love to a cat. <laughs> Rose, for God's sake, you're talking to my mother. Sorry, a very giving cat. <laughs> He's always had an oral fixation. When he was little, he used to suck on other children's thumbs. And now he's always got a bottle of booze in his mouth. My therapist says that's just his way of stuffing his feelings. That's what my therapist says. Hell, I could have told you that for free. <laughs> I'm here. Hey, it's Jake. Back from his sleepover. Look who's here to see you, buddy. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. Thank you for the lovely birthday card. My mom picked it out. Aw, and you love her, don't you? Sure. Thank you. You can go now. Can I go, too? <laughs> we're not done with you. Where were we? We were trying to figure out why Charlie hates you. Yeah. Well, Charlie? Okay, fine, here it is. I'm not saying I hate you, but if I did, it might have something to do with the fact that you're a narcissistic bloodsucker who drove my father into an early grave. After which, you married a succession of men who couldn't care less about Al and me, which was just fine with you because you looked at us like a couple of dancing monkeys you could just haul out whenever it suited you. And when it didn't, you sent us off to boarding school or camp or that kibbutz in Israel where we got beat up because we weren't even Jewish. <laughs> And now, now you show up here every chance you get to lay a guilt trip on me for not appreciating my cold, lonely, loveless childhood. Well. Obviously, you're not ready to talk about it. <laughs>